The Episcopal School of Jacksonville is in a legal battle as several parents sue over the right for their children to go without masks in the classroom. They take issue with a policy that only allows students who are fully vaccinated to go without face coverings. News for Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci breaks down both sides of the debate, which is already in court. Right now, a student at Episcopal has to wear a mask when they're in the classroom unless they are fully vaccinated. In that case, their parents can opt them out. But this lawsuit claims that's not fair because some of the children who are enrolled here aren't even old enough to get a vaccine. Much like public schools, masks in class are a big debate at Episcopal. Now a lawsuit is challenging if they're legal. It comes down to, at the end of the day, if you're going to make a health care decision for my child, I know my child better than anybody, and it's my, my decision under the law. And Lawyer Daniel Bean represents seven Episcopal families suing the school over the mandate, which says only the fully vaccinated can go without a face covering. The parents say it does not contain exemptions for students who are too young to get the vaccine. Students whose parents chose not to vaccinate their children or kids who tested positive within the past 90 days and therefore shouldn't get the vaccine. There would be the argument on the other side, though, Daniel, that would say this is a private school. If you don't like it, put your kid in another private school. Right. I mean, fortunately for our clients, the, the statute that was enacted um, says any other institution, any institution uh, cannot interfere with uh, the parental right to um, make a decision, make a health care decision for a minor child. Episcopal management is responding, telling us in an email as an independent faith based school, Episcopal is not subject to the governor's executive order or the Department of Health's emergency rules for public schools. Episcopal will continue to closely monitor local health conditions and will modify protocols as the situation in our community warrants. The way this complaint is drafted, you would think that they were suing a governmental in entity. Elizabeth White is a local civil rights attorney who sent six children through Episcopal. She's been vocal that she thinks the school has the right to make the rules. This is a private school. People make decisions about whether or not they want to send their children there. And when they do that, they enter into a contract with the school. And if they don't want, they don't like that contract, then what they do is they vote with their pocketbook and they send their children somewhere else. If the lawsuit is not resolved or dismissed, we could see it go to trial in October. In St. Nicholas, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.